Smart play style, able to rush down and also has these corner setups as well. Jay Wong just relentless with the rush down. So Justin, only Nova player today here in top 8. But uh, he has a really, really great offense with his, uh, with his Nova. He's opening up players. Um, you know, he's using the, the Nova slide a lot mm -hmm. to stay in after advancing guard. It's very, you know, reminiscent of Marvel 3 in that way. Yep. Ready. On paper, Nova and Ultron isn't really a, a meta team as it doesn't have those uh, setups. Right, I mean, I think this is really, this is just who Justin is comfortable with, right? And we all know that uh, in the end, whoever you're comfortable with is most important. Okay, so Justin was able to confirm all that standing jab, even by delaying it a few times. He was still able to continue the combo. And chaos on the screen right now. And Killer Kai emerges with the conversion. Justin nearing two meters. Let's see how Killer Kai deals with it. Okay, he's got the cutscene. He's going to get set play. And it's, it's going to be, be cross up. Nice Justin defense. blocks, but doesn't get uh, gets hit by the instant overhead with no conversion. And reality stone by Justin Wong, covering his face. Uh, he's trying to finish off zero here, and he's able to do it. Bad news for Killer Kai. I like how Justin immediately goes to super, not wanting. To drop the combo, nice! Yeah, there's the double overhead yeah. from uh, Ultron. Again, doing that laser down move into fly cancel. He's gonna do big damage. What's the setup gonna be? Stays in place, waits for the reality show to hit. Are you ready? Goes to level 3 to ensure the kill. And a quick first KD there from uh, Echo Fox Justin Wong. As a member of the Nova Corps, I can't Justin Wong's rush down has been so relentless despite them. Usually other teams will have, you know, Rose Garden. Right. Other teams will have the Dante right. Lockdown. But Justin just does, you know, he finishes this combo, he, he does level 1 Ultra on Super, and he does a mix-up. And it's, you know, almost equally effective to these other teams, right? He attempts to cross up. There you go. Battle for the neutral. And I have to say uh, and, and call it out, I think Justin's use of Reality Stone has been better than anybody else I've seen so far. Yeah. Despite it being the go-to stone for most players right now, the way Jay Wong uses it is very efficient. Here we go, which side? There we go. Wasn't able to block at that time. And Justin tagging out, but Killer Kai using that 5-frame tag in to get in and get the hit still. He's going to be able to do his corner set play once again. Okay, mix up time. Which way? Which way? Again with the cross up. Justin with the activate. Ooh, Kai thought he still had the combo, but the Infinity Storm came out, and now we're seeing a different momentum shift. Of course, we did need to the free level tree during Storm. Okay. Nice. Jump eight. And this match was looking so much in Killer Kai's favor earlier, but it is already looking pretty even. Even punishing the freshly tagged character in with the Nova dive. Wow. What a turnaround in the momentum of the match. All he did was character switch and he, he, he paid dearly for it. However, he still has Storm. So that's a chance, but Justin opens him up, immediately goes to level 3. And I don't think this is going to kill. I think he's going to have, yeah, a pixel left, but not really enough to make anything happen. Very quick 2-0 right now. That was a better round for Killer Kai, but of course... It was. I mean, it, it looked like uh, looked like he had them that yep. round, actually. And just being able to capitalize on situations. Well, all, that's, all that started off of one combo drop from Killer Kai. So if he can clean it up a little bit, then he could potentially take a match here. There we go. Okay, nice conversion to Reality Stone. That's a very smart way to uh, properly hit the combo. Yep. Just, just immediately do Stone, then tag out. Okay, ready for the counter tag. And Dante is going to get tagged. Killer Kai must have tried to do something there. 
Since if you just block, you wouldn't get hit in that situation. And it's looking like this will be a very fast trio for Justin Wong. Nothing. Let's see how Killer Kai tries to climb his way back up. And as you see that, he gets opened up by wow, Hogo. What a fast match that was. 15 seconds on the yeah, clock. With a super. Justin Wong wins winner's finals.